So claim victory against the noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy. You have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy rage reaches gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening uh, in the noble's defense, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon into battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle, and the noble guard will stay down for a brief time. During the window, bombs will be more effective than usual. So throw as many as you can. Okay. All right. I need to... Oh man. Oh man, oh man. Oh man. Ah! Oh, send a Pokemon into battle? Okay, no. If he's stunned, I guess. We could send a Pokemon into battle. That's not stealth rocks, Cleaver. That's painful rocks. Um. Okay, let's do rollout agile style. It's now a turnly based damage move. Uh. Um. Let's quickly check. Can I check your stats? Summary. Um. Okay, right, his attack is more than anything, so I will use rollout again. Nice. Aerial ace might take him out. Yeah. Oof. <sighs> I'm gonna have to revive him in another fight. Let's see if Buizel can take him out with uh, Aqua Jets. something. Oh, yeah, here's the perfect area. And then, uh, 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 uh. there we go. <laughs> oh, man. Do a regular rollout. Double hit. Ugh. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. And it was a crit. Uh okay, let's switch to Sylveon and try to revive Macromasu. We have nine revives. This guy does so much with this stuff. If I can get... Alright, if I do quick attack... I can get a little bit of damage off on him. It's not going to be that much. And then I'm going to heal... Uh... Macromasu. Aerial Ace. Okay. Let's return Sylveon. Let's throw out Macromasu. Uh, fight. 
Uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, this might be a bad idea, but I'm gonna do strong style rollout. See if we can't overwhelm him with power. Okay, it didn't. It didn't kill him. So let's hope he doesn't kill us in two shot. Okay, he's gonna two shot us. Uh, send out Weasel again for cleanup. If I do... I'll do just two normal Aqua Jets, maybe. Okay, one, one Aqua Jet did good enough. Uh, can I open this? Cool. Uh, so actually what we can do is use these in between. I'll have... I'll revive Sylveon just in case. Sylveon has so much HP. Okay. And then switch and chuck. Okay. Because Rishiri doesn't really have a chance at living against this guy, I'm gonna strong style him. And then Rishiri is gonna get knocked out, probably. Send out Macromasu. I don't know. If, I, I don't know if Water Pulse would be better. And we could also do the same strategy of just trying to overwhelm him. Okay. I think we get another shot, yeah. Alright. Water Pulse. Throw bombs. Ting. Uh, dang, I wasn't close enough to the to the tree. All right. Uh. Send a wild Pokemon out. Send a wild Pokemon out. Send a wild Pokemon out. I forgot every control in the game. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um. Uh, let's heal Macromasu. That didn't heal Macromasu all the way. Uh, we'll send out Luxio, revive Rishiri too, as well. I'm gonna sack off basically as many people as I can to reset my two people that are actually carrying. Well, actually, Buizel's kind of carrying too, but I think we can handle Buizel later. Okay, Luxio. Tanks a hit. Um, I'm gonna fill, fully heal Macromasu. And then send out Sylveon. Let's 
super potion up Rishiri. Because after this fight, we basically knock on wood. Uh... Get a couple tackles off, why not? Macromasu. a regular rollout. Double hit seems to be like a buffing move now. Got a strong style rollout. So close to taking him out. Oh, wait, no, we did. Okay. There we go. One last good throw. Right in the skull. How's it going, buddy? You were certainly a handful. Insect plate from Cleaver. W what happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzied mind, frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? Maybe. Well, this is what I think after all we've seen. We know strange lightning came out from the space-time rift and the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven in, and driven him into the frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift. But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond this, that space-time rift, then that strange lightning, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power. Then were we even right to try and interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs as if I knew what I was doing like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous! Calm yourself, Leon. Remember what the Lord of the Woods was long before. Remember, the Lord of the Woods has long been the protector, our protector, keeping Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn to us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Masu accomplished us now is indeed it. What Masu accomplished us now. It needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle with this without any further strife from the Diamond Clan or Galaxy Team. If you come across another Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Uh, fine. Yes, fine. I suppose I must occur. Concur. I apologize for being... for, for becoming briefly imposed... Incomposed, my grateful I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these on the half of the Pearl Clan. Consider it an apology for taking spoken for having spoken rudely to you earlier, and a token of my thanks. Three Stratus Berries. Let me take care of your Pokemon as well, in appreciation for fighting on our behalf. I think I'm finally- I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky. Though I still can't imagine the reason at play. And it seems we've settled things here, though. Maybe between you and me. 
I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fear fearfully strong after all. Can I... I can't go... Oh, wait, I can. Is there a way for me to talk to Cleaver? Can I catch Cleaver? Can I get a Cleaver? Hmm. There must be, like, a way to maybe evolve a Scyther or something. Uh, this way. I've seen you caught 12 Pokemon. Care to report your findings? Yep. This game's so fun. Whoa, it seems you've made some new observations. Let's take a look then. Hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update the Pokedex with this new data. Hmm, you quelled Lord Cleaver, you say? Oh well, done. Bravo, my boy. Time to head back to the village and report to Commander Kamado. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the, lo the Lord Pokemon. Sorry, I was double checking something. And what would you have? And what do you have there? Could it be? Are those two of the fabled plates of old? Please let me look at them. Let me take a look. Have a look. I see. There's some letters carved onto them. Let's see. This one says. Where all creation was born, that is, the being's place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? I see. So you were given plates when you impressed Wydeer at Weirdeer and Cleaver? That is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across Hisui. If we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we can unco make, uncover something absolutely amazing. The mystery of the path, the past, and how we they tickle my cur- Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive at such times. Well, I must be on my way until next time. Alrighty then, let's go in and see Kamado. You know what, bro, you need to you need to up my bag some more. You drive a hard bargain, but Hmm, well done. You have already received the reports of your exploits. I've already received reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleaver's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to Hisui's people. You are a stranger to us who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the galaxy team admirably. I admire you have. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition, but things are not settled yet. I've received word that there are other Pokemon nobles failing prey, falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in Hisui. So carry on with your research service survey duties and prove that you are truly, truly are an asset to us. That is all. You are dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corp members are likely to at uh, Wallflower. Go and join them. Benny, old chum. The usual order. Three servings of potato mochi, please. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about your young friend here, you know. He's got quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing off against that cleaver. 
I dare say Masu was well prepared, and he was quick and he was a quick study of how Cleaver moved in battle. From what I heard, all in all, it was a very good show, a victory well earned. You feel safer going uh, about your survey corpse duty now. Thanks, f t I feel safer going about my service survey corpse duty. Thanks to you now. Oh, by the way, why not try crafting some of these? I have a recipe based on directions ben Benny gave me. Smoke bombs. Recipe... So I imagine I just throw them and I'll be able to run? Lovely! And now that we need not worry about being mauled by Cleaver either, we can take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call the Os Obsidian Field their home. Masu. I've been waiting for you, Masu. My name's Vanessa. There's something real important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? Um, this is kind of a secret, but... Something terrible has happened. Hisui is in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by something using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate, so please, Masu, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Uh, just tell me what I need to do. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you believe me. I just knew you'd be willing to help. The odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Ooh, spirit tune? A mysterious stone that can be used to collect wisps that glow like with eerie purple light. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across the sui. A hundred and seven of them total, in total. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See the wisps? You are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the odd keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? See that flame hovering over there? Try touching it. Interesting. Also, good job, Nitro. Uh, I was going around the other way, but I guess you can complain, woman. Uh, good job, Nitro, and also thank you for the head pats. Yoink. Touch. The wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone, just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me th with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisps. The w and one last thing. As you gather more and more wisps, I'll give you some rewards as thanks. I'll wait here for a while while you carry out your search. Good luck. Okay. The next day. The next day. Wow, the Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. Oh god, it's my first love. Oh hey, you're Masu, the boy who quelled Cleaver, aren't you? That's me. I knew it. You got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quelled one of Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kinda scared of you for doing something so bold. I'm Erizu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet ya. Oh, Snip. But I came here to talk to you. Uh, to your Mr. Kamado. See you around. You'd imagine she would be the warden of Cleaver if she likes haircuts. <laughs> also, does that mean you got stuff? New arrival coming to live in the village. Hmm, it's probably high time I had myself an assistant, or rather a successor. 
Welcome, young man. How can I help you today? I don't know. You didn't. I, I was just wondering if you had new styles. Also, there's a bunch of stuff. Those clothes you're wearing when you first came to the village. I can't describe to you the shock they gave me. It's as if I got a glimpse of the future. There's no mistaking it. You're passionate about fashion, aren't you? Not really. If that's the case, then you should study fashion to get we should study fashion together. I'm sure your interest will grow in no time. You're part of the Survey Corp, am I right? Please, I ask you to lend your talents. I've been told that hippo hippotas, which are found around the Crimson Maryland, have different appearances based on their gender. I feel like if I were able to see and compare them, it would impress me to create a new design for my clothing. Could you show me both a male and female hippotas? Okay. Uh, 